opening my tea party just for you. Who is that? It's Didi, the so-called anime enthusiast Fox. It's time to react to Otis ID and Heathcliff's ego, which I'm pretty excited to see, honestly, with the thumbnail. So let's get started already. Limbus Company. Oh. <gasps> So this is W Corp Otis. I wonder what kind of effect it'll have. Or abilities. It looks really good though. I know people have recommended me to build W Corp Don and Faust. So maybe I should try getting this one too. <laughs> and build a W team. <gasps> Heathcliff! Honestly, what is up with Project Moon and their red, red egos? I mean, just look at that. Oh, I can't resist. Why does he look so good like that? They've really been creating the best egos. One after the other. First it was Faust, then it was Don Quixote. And now it's Heathcliff. <laughs> They're cooking hard this year. Seriously. Uh, I mean, I finally, I actually managed to get Ryoshu's ego. I think with uh, the Diichi Mirror Salt banner. I mean, I didn't get Mirror Salt, unfortunately, but at least I got Yoshi's Ego. And now I'm like, and eh, now do I really want to pull for Heathcliff's Ego too? Actually, I do need another Ego for Heathcliff. So I could aim for it. Maybe W Corp Otis will be a good thing for Don Quixote. So maybe I should go for it. Uh, what do you think? Do you think it'd be worth pulling on the banner at the very least for the ID? Or do you think I should just hold it in and wait for a different one? Let me know down below what you think. But either way, I'm really amazed at how they're improving their art for the egos. I mean, okay, let me go to it real quick. Uh, where are you, Heathcliff? Aha! Like, just look at this. It's so beautiful. Or actually, this would be more accurate. Okay, yeah, this one. This one is the best one. I mean, just look at him. I mean, seriously, why is it always red? <laughs> I mean, I think the one that was the most amazing that wasn't red was Faust's Bride Ego. The one with the hair and the clock one. But this one is just so... First it was Yoshu that was red, and now it's Heathcliff, and he just... What is even the word to describe him? He's like so metal? No, no, no. Um, he's just really cool, and I, I just can't help it. And plus the animation for his attack. Like, this part is so freaking cool. I really want it. Plus I use Heathcliff already on a pretty major base. Actually, he's always on my team. So, if I can get this ego, regardless of whether it's good or not, that would make me happy. I would just spam it just to look at this animation. Because <laughs> it looks so awesome. Oh, I am so tempted. I really want to pull. For Actually, I will pull for him. I will pull. I will do a 10 pull. Like a single. No, no, no. Maybe a 3? 30 pull? Maybe. No, no. 3 10 pulls, perhaps. I, at least that should be a good enough limit, right? I mean, I've had pretty good luck with egos more than IDs for some reason. Yeah, I, I think now that I think about it, I think I've had much better luck with getting egos on banners than the actual ID. I would get spooked all the time with IDs, but it would never be the one that's on the banner, usually. Yeah, huh. Maybe I should try my luck with this banner when it comes out. Uh, are you going to be pulling for Ego or for ID first? Probably for ID, right? <sighs> Unless you're like me who cannot resist. <laughs> because I can't resist. It's too hard. Uh, I just can't. There's nothing I can do about it, honestly. But what good timing that it's Heathcliff's Ego when I literally am in the middle of Canto 6. 
I think I'm almost. I think I'm gonna be finishing it today, or maybe in the next stream. But either way, I am catching up, and I am ready to get those intervalos done after, and maybe finally go for the end game stuff. Maybe if I like it, I suppose. Well, at least I'll try it out finally for the first time on on this platform. But we'll see. We'll see how it goes. If I manage to get Heathcliff's ego when it comes out, ugh, I'm gonna I'm gonna scream with happiness. <laughs> I mean, Yoshi's was already good enough. How long will my luck last for this game? Especially when my luck is so horrible majority of the time. <sighs> it's gonna be so difficult. Anyways, what would you describe Heathcliff's ego as? I know the Teth is a rating for the abnormality or the difficulty or maybe dangerous danger level of the abnormality. I do wonder if Teth is on the higher end of things or if it was on the lower end of things. I haven't played the Bottomy Corporation in a while, so my memory is kind of fuzzy on that. But... It, it kind of reminds me of that one abnormality in Lobotomy Corporation where it can like shoot bullets throughout the screen. I, I forgot what exactly it was called, but his, I guess not abno form, but his ego does subtly remind me of that for some reason. Maybe it's the gun that was like, Reminding of me of that moment when I encountered that abno or unlocked it. But it really does remind me of that for some reason. Also, it kind of also reminds me of something else too, an anime. Like the whole shooting the bullet and then the magic circles that are appearing. Just can't remember off the top of my head because it's morning and I have had my coffee, but... Let me know down below if you know what I'm talking about, because I feel like there has been something like that recently, and I just can't recall for some reason. But either way, if it's a red ego, I can safely say that the art is always going to be peak. <laughs> Actually, all the IDs and egos recently have just been peak much more than what's already out somehow or one way or the other. I don't even know how they do it. Ah, <sighs> Why do they know so well what we want and... What is the best looking thing ever? I guess it must be the feedback that people have been giving them. Maybe on Naver or... I don't know, on Discord. Are they even active on Discord? That's one thing that I'm curious about. Hmm... I feel like there's a fan server, but not really an official server. So maybe it is Naver. But either way, I am so excited for this one. I think it should be coming out maybe in like three to two to three weeks, right? Hmm. It's gonna be a while then. I have to be patient again. Oh, it's so hard to wait for the banners. Anyways, my kids, what'd you think of today's video? We reacted to Limbus Company, Triple Zero, W Corp, Otis, and Teth Heathcliff Ego. So let's etch this into our memory and keep it safe. And as always, formally inviting you to my next tea party. The so called anime enthusiast Fox, who's that? This was Didina, so until the next one then, bye!